other than conflict of interest, there has been a problem of officers who have stayed in one station for long. Not at your level. The command level, uh, two years, one year, three years, you know, isn't it? You, you're transferred. But you're juniors. There are characters there who have stayed in one police station, junior officers, for nine years, 15 years, seven years, eight years. They have local interests. They have ventured into businesses there in the local area. They are part of the local community. Some of them have married their first or second or third wives there. So they have relatives there. And they, have, they are the ones who have uh, entered into the unholy alliance with some of the people who are dis uh, destroying the country. And uh, they are the ones even who arrange protection fees. So the commanders are actually introduced into this thing when they arrive. We'll show you how things are done here. And some of those junior officers are, can be very rude. They even, uh, in some instances, insubordinate their superiors. And they tell their superiors, we have been here for 10 years. Uh, we saw other people, they came and went. So le likewise, you hang around, you will also go, you leave us here. Now, we have uh, talked about this issue of um, three-year transfer policy for too long. And uh, I just wanted to communicate that all the officers from all the agencies who have served in one station for three, for three years and above will be transferred starting today morning across Kenya, across Kenya. That is a directive from uh, government. It has to be complied with. And the IG and all the other, uh, those who are responsible, have been directed that all officers, that the transfer, the three year transfer policy must be imp implemented without fail. And <coughs> the, that exercise begins today. Any public official, Ngao, National Police Service, whether Kenya Police Service of, uh, or APS, KWS, everybody here, DCI, NIS, Chief, any public official who is in this business must stop. Must stop and look for some other business, a alternative business. Right? Yes, sir. It is a directive because you cannot enforce the law if you are conflicted. If you are in this business and we are enforcing the law uh, around the same business, it's not possible. In the past, okay, operations of this nature, especially in this uh, area of drugs and alcohol, have been frustrated by political interferences. The politicization of the fight against narcotic drugs and alcoholic, uh, alcohol, uh, uh, illicit alcohol consumption and sale has always been frustrated by politics, politicization. I remember in the past there's a time when uh, politicians in this region were leading the war against drugs. Now, how does a member of parliament, an MCA, how, how do they get involved in law enforcement? So please note that this is purely a law enforcement matter. And therefore, we do not expect any reference whatsoever to political issues and this has nothing to do with politicians, the best thing politicians can do is to support, is to sensitize the public. 
that this operation is for the national interest and is for saving our current and future generations from collapse.